Hey guys, so we are back with another video finally. Today we're going to be talking about data logging and getting started with actually tuning your car with Chrome. On my last video about it, we just kind of went over base maps and getting a stock motor running. Today we're going to kind of go over what you need to get started with data logging and getting something a little bit more advanced running. This is a JDM D15B with a basically eBay turbo setup. It's an eBay manifold, the eBay T3, T4, just running a turbo smart wastegate and a HKS blow off valve. But other than that, and then eBay 550cc injectors, a Walbro 255, and a Delta camshaft. So it's going to be a little bit more technical than tuning a stock Z6 or just putting a base map on there, obviously. So we're going to go over what you need really quick. Um, Basics are going to be, you need a wideband, uh, you're definitely going to need a wideband, most vital part of tuning your car. Uh, you're going to want to have that wired up and have the signal wire going into the O2 sensor wire on your ECU. I just have a pin connector here so I can take the actual stock uh, O2 sensor out of there and put my wideband signal. This is coming from my AEM wideband from the signal wire going into there going straight into the ECU and obviously you need a chipped ECU and then you're gonna need one of these moats extreme hue logs minimum if you don't have an ostrich I don't have an ostrich so we're just gonna use this today a laptop and you have to have Chrome Pro uh, without Chrome Pro you cannot data log using Chrome you can use I believe it's called Honda log or hue log or something along those lines as a free program but it's way more difficult to tune when it's not data logging directly onto Chrome. So we're going to get started with this, and I'll show you how to get that all set up real quick. All right, we moved inside so we can see the computer a little better. But on your uh, uh, tune, you're going to want to go in, go into plugins, enhancements, and then add a quick data, log quick data logger and real-time programming. If you don't have that on there, you're obviously, you know, it's not going to be able to data log, so you need that on there. And then after that, you want to kind of go in and set all your parameters for everything. So, like, I have my boost cut set, I have my launch control set, I have my shift light, all that. And then I have my idle set. I have my idle, I set mine to a thousand because I have a pretty aggressive cam. And when you do something like adjusting your idle, you need to go into uh your advanced tables because i set my idle at a thousand and then on your advanced tables you're going to find like idle speed versus engine coolant temperature uh set those few at like a thousand down here as well once you've warmed up and then idle speed moving all those those all need to kind of line up with what you uh with what you plan on running otherwise it's going to not quite work out so we got those set up and then we need to, uh, you go into like your fuel multiplier, you're going to add your injector size and then fuel pressure, engine size, and then you got your, um, that's your basic for your injectors. So these are going to be your new injectors. I'm running 550s. And then you're going to go into your advance. You're going to want to set like your offset and all that in there. Um, we'll talk about that in just a second. But after you go in and you set uh, your injector size, you're going to want to go back to your advanced tables. And then you're going to do injector battery offset. If you go up to this corner up here, more, there's a whole list of injectors. You're going to want to select your injectors off of that list, and that'll set your battery offset. Um, that's going to work, what you're going to want to start doing before you ever start adjusting your tune or anything. So we'll kind of go on to the next steps now. All right, so now that we're back in the car, what you want to do is take uh, the USB into your Q-Log, plug it on into your laptop, get that plugged in. Take your other end down here, get your little connector, this end, the little press tab, if you got one on your ECU, goes up. And it's this little pin connector right here. Plug that in. Take your key, put your ignition to the on position when you feel, hear the fuel pump. 
don't start the car click on live tuning down here and then I have an old one so I'm just gonna click no on this but live tuning you should be connected and then what you're gonna want to do is up here you can go into your show lambda readings these are old ones these are from a previous I'll clear those recordings oh clear recordings and this is what it'll look like but you see this purple dot I believe that's where you're at there we go um, so you're not gonna get any recordings on here until your coolant temperature hits 140 degrees after that part it'll start to read um, so at this point you're gonna want to probably rely on your wideband getting you um, an idea of where you're at at idling and if you're way off before you're even warmed up you're gonna want to go into your tools uh, fuel multiplier and then go into advance and you're gonna adjust your offset up or down until you reach where you are at 14.7 but only shoot for that once your car is fully warmed up at about 180 degrees and that should get you idling so once you get your car idling right around 14, 14.7, 14 I've got a pretty heavy overlapped cam, so mine kind of can alternate. It runs a little rich, but it's actually a false rich because the cam has so much overlap. But once you get there, um, this is where you're going to theoretically start your tuning. We're going to talk about your target lambda. I'm going to turn my car off. We're going to talk about your target lambda, which is your target lambda map. Lambda uh, 1 is going to be 14.7 to 1. That's going to be your target. So that will be what you're shooting for within these regions of the vacuum and RPM range. All right, so once you've adjusted your offset to find your idle and you've set up your target lambda table, this is where you're gonna start theoretically data logging and begin your tuning. You're gonna drive around light throttle, fill up these cells and compare them to your target lambda and adjust them to match your lambda readings to match your target lambda by adjusting your fuel tables now we're not going to go over that in this video it's pretty advanced so we're going to talk about that in a whole separate video um, i hope this guy's this video was able to get you guys rolling and kind of get your at least your setup started and understanding of how to get started data logging and begin tuning we'll go over actual tuning next video but as always please comment like subscribe thank you guys very much and have a great day